I'm a huge fan of Lucifer, so oh. I'm geeking out right now. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, congratulations on this movie. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, for my fans, what's your character? What's your role in this one? Um, well, I play a woman who is a mother of two kids, and um, she's from Honduras, and she's one of Judy's clients. And um, her name is Ceci, and she is a hard worker. She is salt of the earth. She's um, dealing with her husband having to be deported. So it's, you know, it's really, it really takes a toll on her and her family and, um, and through the community they recommend Judy. And so, um, she represents, you know, one of the many Latino families that Judy has helped, uh, keep together. So, and then she ends up helping, helping Judy put her office together and clean her office and there's a friendship form. So it's, uh, it's a very sweet, sweet story. She's, uh, and I was just so, so excited to represent someone who doesn't uh, speak English as their first language. Um, because, you know, so often I play professional Latinas, but I wanted to represent Latinos who weren't born here. And I worked with Sean a couple of times, so it just all came together. It sounds like a timely story. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, definitely. So talk a bit about uh, some of your research. Did you... I don't contact some people that go through the experience. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm Mexican and Puerto Rican, okay. so um, I've, I'm, you know, it's very close to me, and um, and it's uh, it's definitely, you know, I, it's one of those uplifting, inspiring stories to me of this one, you know, strong-headed woman who was brilliant who went toe to toe with the government, mm. and she's like, look we are a country that should welcome refugees. Yeah. We are a country that should protect the innocent. And if they go back to their country and they're going to be killed, especially women, right, because they're, they're so um, vulnerable, especially in certain parts of the world, then um, we as a first world country have a responsibility to protect them because that's who we are. So to me, this movie really exemplifies what America was and should be now. <laughs> So you, so, you, so you have hope that we can uh, come I to that do, point. I do. I do. Yeah. I think that that's our that's our foundation. Yeah. I mean, we are all immigrants, um, and and that's what you know from the from the beginning. Um, you know, people leaving tyranny and a monarch and leaving you know Britain and 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 sailing and risking their lives and leaving their family and leaving what they know and going into the unknown because they wanted something better so we were literally founded on those tenants and um and that is the american fabric and so um nothing's changed i mean you know immigrants are what makes this country amazing and um and and freedom you know we've always really valued freedom so um so i'm very prideful and i'm very hopeful that um we will get back to you know extending our arms to refugees because you know we got to lead by example. I'll let, I'll let you go. Yes. For my fellow Lucifer fans. Yes. Come on, tease us a new season. What's, up? What's happening? What's gonna... I'll say Ella wise, you will see more of Ella than you've ever seen physically. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little G. She may or may not be uh, naked in this in this this season. With 10 episodes is fun? 10 episodes is so fun. Yeah, yeah. we're already so almost halfway hey, through. You. We're shooting episode four. So it's been really fun, and um, it's been great. I, I, I have so much fun. I laugh way too much, and uh, I get to spin as a character because I lose my faith a little, so that's always fun. You know, a little bit of uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll for Ella. Hi, it's Amy Garcia, and you're watching Rama Screen.